Hey guys, Josh Kelly here with more Twilight Princess. Okay, okay. This is serious. Mid is in trouble. We gotta save her. But, um, in non serious fashion, I was just totally standing here and I found something cool. Did you attack? He, like, automatically grabs the ledge like that. I thought that was pretty cool. But, anyway, back to, um, very serious business. We gotta get Midna good again. And, um, yeah. <laughs> Oh, since when did Gorons come in here anyway? That doesn't... You, like, never see that happen. <laughs> this is pretty cool, though, because, um... I guess this is as close as, uh... You know, I, I was gonna say this is as close as Zelda gets to stealth, but, uh, there's actually quite a few stealth segments in other games, like, uh, start of Wind Waker in this Forsaken Fortress, and, uh... In, like, uh, Link Between Worlds. That one part, which in... Which is in a place which name I can't remember. <laughs> dark something. It's like the the place before the dark temple thing. I was going to actually listen to them here. I heard that an acquaintance of Telma defeated the beast that had to be attacking tourists on the bridge. Yep, it was totally me. <laughs> His name was Arsehole. Sounds as though he brought Telma and the young ward to Kakariko Village. And here I was thinking Hyrule was empty of men of valor. And I don't believe he's from Hyrule proper at all. No, my understanding is that he's from the small neighboring province of Ordona. So what, it's not even, like, part of Hyrule? Like, that doesn't make sense. I thought the whole map was Hyrule. <laughs> this may sound horribly <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. It's just, like, you know, you hear all this, like, PC elitist crap, so him just saying that is in, like, a Nintendo game is kind of funny. <laughs> but people who do not know the city simply do not know fear. Boy, isn't he from the city though? So how is he being elitist to something? It's not being elitist if you're not part of it, but whatever. <laughs> anyway though. This is, uh, interesting. So anyway, this is... It's been a long time coming. This is a Poe, and uh... You need to be a wolf to kill it. Anyway, that's a terrible place to, uh, <laughs> to cut, but I swear there was someone, like, standing right outside my door, and it's, like, awkward to record when there's, a uh, someone standing, you know, right outside my door or something, listening in to my, um, amazing conversations and all that shit. <laughs> anyway, anyway, though, so here's some weird visual. Okay, we killed a Poe, and we collected soul. I would say this is the skull teller of this game. Oh, th thanks for being the ghost. Can I tell you, doggy? No, you cannot. <laughs> okay, there's another cut, for, for, but for a completely different reason. You, I can hear Midna's panting, and I thought that was like something like weird, like my Wii was having some weird noises <laughs> coming out of it. So I was like, I had to inspect what was going on there. <laughs> anyway, though, I can't move. I can't go see my girlfriend. Ugh. First world problems, am I right? My pet cat, Gengel, is frozen on my head. I don't think I could be more miserable. I don't know, how about... Your girlfriend's dead and left you. Uh, <laughs> I have to ask you a favor, doggy. Can you find and defeat the 20 ghosts that lurk in the dark for me? I think if you can free the piece of my soul from the ghosts, that would... That hold them, I'll be free. Oh, but it's raining out now, so I don't think you can go outside directly. I'll open the door to the underground waterway for you. So, so the the cat herd bar's window doesn't lead into the sewers. This guy's house does. Okay, well, good thing he was compliant. <laughs> Once the rain stops, you can come back from here by digging around the front wall where the cats gather. On stand, doggy. Um. Oh yeah, yeah. And the thing that's stopping us from coming in here earlier was uh, I'm pretty sure there were a bunch of cats blocking us digging in. But damn, this guy's house is like flooded because of the rain. <laughs> Has gone there, Midna. Yeah, you don't like water. Can I like submerge her? Nah, she stays above the water. <laughs> I'm such a. I was gonna say I can't get up. <laughs> yeah, I know. I blah blah. So anyway, it's, um, Poe's are, yeah, like I said before, sort of like Skeletellas, but they, I would say they're more annoying <laughs> because uh, ow. So I've only played Ocarina of Time, actually that's, <laughs> what I was going to say is I've only gotten all the Skeletellas in Ocarina of Time a couple times, but even if, if I was like go back and replay that, I remember where they all are. Now even though there's only 60 total, 
in this game instead of like a hundred. I don't remember where like every single one is. And actually, never mind. The thing that makes it worse is there's no way to switch it to night in this. So like area areas that where where you normally find like um like skeletons and stuff in Ocarina of Time or in this game <laughs> pose. <laughs> now I don't even know what I'm saying. Anyway, though, like, you go through an area and miss all the pose because it was daytime and there's, like, nothing you can do about it. But this is a uh, pretty... This looks this looks too important to be the sewers. Like, look at this. It's, like, it's the boss. The boss of the dungeon. It's a giant spider. That was no boss. I don't... Just, just break, you damn skull. Is this a stick? Yeah, it's a stick. So we can, um... <laughs> I always think Link's gonna, like, do some, you know, fire dancing. When he go, uh, can I? Yeah, can I just ignore that thing though? It's like, yeah, I see you there, but I don't really care. I can't be like that. Like, we do actually have to light all the things in this room, but can I like get these damn keys out of the way first? That'd be nice. Oh, by the way, <laughs> completely random, but um, if I was like out of it last episode, which I sort of was, there were, like there were parts where I was barely talking. That's because I was so freaking tired when I recorded that, because. Um, I didn't get much sleep that night, that day, anyway. Oh, is there another one somewhere? Actually, yeah, there is. Um, I feel like I'm missing something. Like, it feels like you probably blow up this wall, but you can't. I can't, and even if I had bombs, I wouldn't be able to. Anyway, though. So, yeah, yeah, this wall, the problem is, like, I couldn't tell if you could climb this wall or not, but you can. So, just relight this up. Relight this up. Come on, I want both ends for no reason. Now you can just get up here, right? Yeah, wolf is good. Yeah, it's like, because I think I'm carrying something. I can't jump as high. I don't know why I would think that, but that's what I was thinking. Anyway, I don't think we needed to actually bring this over here. So we didn't actually have to light anything. Oh, come on. Oh, I was, <laughs> I was trying to use Minna's um, hair attack, but of course I can't use that with her. Sick. Huh, would it look blue if she were to use it now, though? Because, <laughs> like, part of her hair is blue there. Oh, are we going to get, like, told twice what this is? Yep. Just, there's something sad about doing that without Minda looking up, too. Oh, well. Let's, let's fix her up, then. So that's not a problem. Oh, it's a Bulblin. What is a Bulblin doing down here? I honestly don't know. <laughs> he, he just lives here. And, um... He wasn't originally a Bulblin, he was a, um... Actually, I was trying to make some kind of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle joke with that. I just couldn't even come up with like a... I was like trying to think of... Alright, uh... He was originally like a little Goblin, but then he got turned into a Bulblin by touching Mutagen, but like, uh... <laughs> I don't think there's really such a thing as little Bulblins. <laughs> Here it is, the little one. If anything... If he did that, he'd be turned into the big boss dude. Now, what is going on here? Right, dig. I don't think Midna likes being, like, trudged through the dirt like that. <laughs> but, and whatever. So, actually, as you can see, this is, we've actually landed in an area we've already been in. This, like, little tunnel area. I don't think we actually had to go there the first time we came here, but we can just come out here and climb the stairs. Now, obviously, see, if these ropes weren't here, we'd be in, in freaking dead shit because... Um, the first time we came here, we had to use Midna's, like, you know, the jump to Midna mechanic to get up, but I guess since... Oh, so that, uh, that's why the Bulblins came here. I, I, before I was like, damn, why, where, why are these Bulblins here? But they came here to help us out and put ropes here. And they're, they're only attacking me now because, uh, they don't know, like, <laughs> whoever told them to do it, uh, didn't tell them that I would be looking like a wolf, so they think I'm just some random wolf. That's why they're attacking me, yep. What's the point of that one, though? It's <laughs> no point. That's for someone to hang their washing on. <laughs> um, kind of an odd place to do that, but uh, whatever floats your boat. Now yeah, we're almost there, aren't we? I hate these guys. I don't want to use like a non. So I keep attacking them by pressing A. I don't want to use just the shake the Wii mode attack because I don't. I don't trust it. I think it's gonna make me fall off the edge, which I hate doing. Why? Who does? Yeah, damn, I'm so unique for hating falling off. Everyone, you know, my brother, he loves falling off. No, no, he doesn't. So if I were to use it here, I bet I'd fall off. Ow. 
and <laughs> it has nothing to do with why I showed me doing that at the start of the episode. Automatic ledge grabbing. That is a genius mechanic. Alright, but can I... Yeah, I can jump off the rope onto him. Okay. Well, I mean, I could just run past. God, this is so awkward just having to wait for them to get back up. You can't, like, finish with these guys. The only thing you can, like, finish is Wolf. Yeah, ow. Is the pose, which we just saw earlier. I'm not actually sure when we'll run into our second one of those. Um. No, actually, I sort of do. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not sure how we're gonna handle the pose because we'll get some along the way, but we'll have to, like, backtrack to a couple areas to, um. Oh, this door's open, okay. To get, uh, like, a couple of, like, ones we couldn't get earlier in earlier areas. But, um, we'll definitely be getting all of them, but it'll. We'll probably do it at, like, the end of the game, and then, like, lots of cutting until I find them and all that. I know, like, the general area where most of them are, like, there's a couple of holes you can randomly dig in that have, like, two. Uh, I can, I remember, there's, like, one in a desert area we haven't been to, and there's, like, one in that area around Hyrule Castle where the water is. But, yeah, it's definitely, I actually, I actually enjoy finding the Skeletellas. I don't enjoy finding all the Poes. Especially since you don't even need to get them all. It's much like the Skeletellas in Ocarina of Time. Like, hey, I didn't say do that, I said jump off. Yeah, as I was saying, much like the Skeletellas in Ocarina of Time, where you get all the rewards of the Skeletellas for getting 50 of them, and then all you get for 100 is unlimited rupees. Sort of the same thing here. Um, what is that Kagarok doing? <laughs> uh, what the hell happened there? I tried to jump off, and then he, like clipped back onto the ground. Anyway, though, it's probably good I didn't, because you need to wait for the wind. Good on your wind. Oh, it must be Wind Wake link helping out. And down we go. Oh, so we, we, we did this in Twilight originally, though, so it's cool to do it not in Twilight, I guess. <laughs> anyway, let me finish what I was saying, though. You only need to get the first 20 pose to get the reward. Which, uh, I'm not, gonna, I'm not even gonna bother hiding what it is, it's the last bottle. And that's, like, it. After 20, there isn't anything else until you get to all 60 of them. And even then, it's just... Like, exactly like Ocarina of Time, unlimited rupees. But anyway, here's another interesting, somewhat lengthy cutscene. No, <laughs> just drop it, why don't you? Jeez. Please, please tell me, how do we break the curse on this one? This is the one, you need him to save your world. That's why, princess, please, you must help us. <laughs> And I just killed the moment. <laughs> what binds him is a different magic than what, than what transformed him when he first passed into the Curtain of Twilight. It is an evil power. Yeah, it's that, to it's that MacGuffin we saw earlier. <laughs> Our world is one of balance. Just as there is light to drive away darkness, so too is there benevolence to banish evil. Head for the sacred grove that lies deep within the lands guarded by the spirit Farron. There you will find the blade of evil's bane that was crafted by the wisdom of the ancient sages, the Master Sword. And oh yeah, I had a feeling that thing might show up. <laughs> the Master Sword is a sacred blade that evil can never touch. Evil cloaks you like a dark veil, and that blade is the only thing that can cleave it. Asshole, who are sent by the goddess. Like you, I have been granted special powers by the goddesses. <laughs> I, I seriously should have named myself something else. Fine, asshole, you can you can get to the woods on your own, right? Princess, I have one last request. Can you tell him where to find the mirror of twilight? Hmm, what is this mirror of twilight and where can I get one? <laughs> Minna, I believe I understand now just who 
and what you are. Despite your mortal injuries, you act in our steed. These dark times are the result of our deeds, yet it is you who have re reaped the penalty. Accept this now, Minna. I pass it to you. We go back, asshole, back to the Farron Woods. Whoop, epic flip. <laughs> yeah, so I can't believe I have to say this again, but I have like I don't really know understand exactly what happened there. Zelda, I've taken all that you had to give, though I did not want it. Like obviously, if this was your first time, you like assume that obviously she just used magic to like give her life to her or something, but due to spoilers that I don't want to say, that's obviously, like, not true. So, yeah, I don't know if that's just a plot hole or whatever. <laughs> now, why didn't he put that up earlier? Ugh, stupid Zand. I mean, think about it. If he put that up earlier, I wouldn't be able to get in. And, um, we'd have a problem then. <laughs> Yeah, fuck you, Zant, Midnight, just get pissed, fuck you. Nah, screw that, let's go, okay, um... So we are Wolf, and it's not Twilight. <laughs> yeah, this is a first, well, I mean, we were before, but that was, like, too epic to care. But anyway, since we are a wolf, we can in fact warp straight to our destination, which we will do... Is that a guy shooting at me? Where is he? I'm gonna kill that guy. No shooting, I'm trying to end the episode, you dick. <laughs> anyway, though, um... Yeah, I'd like to I'd like to get rid of some money, but we can't really do that. Until, uh... Well, until some more events transpire. Anyway, anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching. See you next time.